So thank you, Shakti, to be here with us. And thank you, guys. Thank you to be at this Feeding the Soul regathering online. So we are um, honored to have you here, and we have, a, we have a special question for you. What was necessary to achieve a shift of consciousness in your personal experience? It's hard to say, it's hard to reply to this question, because everything we do in our life, any step of the way, any step of the journey is part of this jump, this shift in perception from the belief to be a separate entity to the realization that we are one consciousness that is living through all forms. So it's not just one thing, it's everything, everything. Our life as it is, is actually the way, is the journey. Our spiritual life is our everyday life. If I want to focus on something that maybe was more relevant is I would say that there was a general sense of gratefulness towards life in the recognition that anything that was happening was not against me. Even things that were looking like unfortunate events or difficulties, when I was looking backwards and I was reviewing them, I could sense how if those things wouldn't have been happening, I wouldn't have been the person I was. And I could see the lesson that the universe was giving me in, in every moment of my day. So I would say this, this gratefulness, this sense of amen, thy will be done, that was arising more and more in my prayers, in my, in my relationship with the divine and with life itself. This has been like uh, something very, very profound and very important. And, and this accompanied a sense of disappearing of myself as the one that I believe to be and coming to the forefront of the moment, of the presence of the moment. So thank you, that was great. So I would uh, ask you more, one more thing. Um, if you remember like um, a moment or um, an episode an experience in which you had like um, something happen, no? Well, there is not, awakening is not an experience. Awakening is the recognition of what is that is viewing the experience of life. So yes, there is a moment in which you firstly recognize that you're not what you believe to be. But we must be clear that awakening is not an experience. When we believe in this, then it becomes a memory. And it's not something that we can bring in our everyday life. It's a constant, everyday, moment by moment recognition, is a living recognition, is an embodied recognition of our true nature. Of course, before this, uh, this, this realization that became a constant in my life, uh, there, there were many moments of oneness, many moments they were anticipating this shift. They were not awakening in themselves as this recognition of oneness is not awakening in itself. In my terminology, in my experience, awakening is the awakening to the fact that the separate entity doesn't exist, that our true nature is emptiness, silence, that is true love, unconditional love, that allows all existence to dance inside it. So the moment of oneness is a kind of um, anticipation of this recognition sometimes. And this occurred many, many times. Maybe I was just like watching like a tree moved by the breeze and suddenly there was no Katerina, there was no tree, there was just the moment. And, and also there, were, there has been episodes for me of um, an intense energy of love emerging in me like waves upon waves of, of blissful love for existence and unconditional joy that was filling me, you know, make me brimful of joy. So it's, it's hard to say because for every person it's different and there is no one human being that has the same path. At the same time, paradoxically, is the same one that is waking up in every human being. Really, you know, your life as it is, our life as it is, is the way in which we wake up. And the sooner we realize this, 
and the sooner we are in peace with ourselves. Wow, thank you. And one, one last thing. Uh, if you have a, a message now for the people who uh, is watching this uh, video, your, this interview. Yeah. I would say in this particular historical moment of our life in which you are so pressured by fear and by so many challenges of the world, remember what you're watching is something that comes from within you. It's not separated from you. Do not be afraid. Stay with the truth of your heart and trust your heart. Your mind might say stories of revenge, of anger, of violence, of doubts. Stay with the truth of your heart. Your heart speaks to you silently and it will guide you like a compass towards the right direction. And the other thing is that it's really important in this moment that we remember that what we feed, are you feeding the moment with compassion, with kindness, with gratefulness, with love? with sincerity, with courage, with authenticity, with discernment, with wisdom? Or are you feeding it with fear, anxiety, worries, blaming, feeling guilty? Watch out, watch out. And, and, and find in your heart the strength to carry on. Okay, super. Thank you very much for, uh, for this interview. And thank you. thank you also for your presence. Grazie. Thank you. Thank you.